Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something, a pretty cool item I'd say, from uh, Flop Industries. They sent me a Flop Box 10, okay? And let me tell you, this thing is incredible. I don't usually carry a, a ton of live bait around in the summer. I usually carry around in spring and always when I'm ice fishing, whether it's rosy reds for perch or whether it's like shiners for uh, pike and bass on tip ups. So I've been using it for about a week, week and a half now. It keeps the bait really fresh. The bait's always running wild. There's always lively ones in there. And for a matter of fact, there's a lot, a lot less dead ones in there. Uh, it does its job really well. I'm gonna show you guys this in a second here and uh, kind of break it down and show you kind of what it does and what it's all about. All right, guys, so there's the flop box. This is the flop box 10, okay? Flop box 10. This handle is a really, really strong metal handle. I th think it might be steel and it's very heavy duty, okay? Super strong. Obviously, you can, might be able to dent it if you really try to, but it's a really strong, heavy duty handle. Um, this latch here is super cool. Really keeps it strong and tight. But first, I'm gonna show you guys this thing here. So this is what comes inside the flop box when you get it. It's a lithium power unit box. This just houses this lithium here. This is the lithium batteries. I think there's nine batteries in here together and it's rechargeable. Right here you got the charging port. It's just a small USB 3.0 port. And right here, if it presses once, this is just continuous. And right now it's on two bars. This has been running on one charge for three, two or three days now. And it really, really does work great. And that's one of my favorite things about this is I don't have to replace the batteries anymore. I don't have to run it continuous off a different stone. I just have it built in little charger here. I can move this box anywhere around the house, outside, whatever I want to do with it. And it's handy. So that first one is the constant runtime. And the thing about it, I put that constant runtime, which is crazy. It runs up to 90 hours. And I've tested that very, very close to 90 hours and I just threw it on the charger. And if, no difference in performance at all and then right now see how it pauses like that it'll start up again setting right now this one's called intermittent this is a 120 hour runtime which is insane and flop flop industries they advertise it as three times over three times the competitor so that's pretty impressive i'd say but yeah over 120 hours and i've had this too and this is going over three days before not right now because it's on two batteries or two cells there so but this thing's impressive and the other thing what's super cool about this is it's like a yeti cooler that's the kind of design this thing is it kind of a build it's kind of like an indestructible roller molded i guess like high quality plastic and i think that's also what helps keep it keep the bait cold just like a kind of like a yeti cooler does so the battery itself, it's a 23 amp hour battery and 3.7 volts. So, and it's rechargeable. Remember that it's a rechargeable battery. So you don't ever have to worry about stuff like that. So the thing about the rechargeable batteries, it's a 23 amp hour, 3.7 volts. It comes in super handy. And my favorite part about this is when I'm out on the ice, I don't have issues with this battery dying. And I don't even have it, issues with it going down. So with regular AA batteries and other air stones and other air pumps, they always die on me. And I always have to bring replacement batteries. Sometimes those die too because they get too cold. So in this thing, I have yet to have that issue. And I've kept it outside my shanty too in 20 degree weather. So it's held up. It's held up so far. And I think I'm one of the only people that's really tested it on the ice so far. So it's kind of impressive that it works as well and the cool thing about this i forgot to mention is this handle has a little locking point so if you're carrying it it'll just kind of stay in place there it won't want to jump around on you see i'm pushing this down i have to push it down that hard to get it to move 
So it's not gonna swing out from you and hit you in the leg or something weird. So the air pump, the air pump does come out if you ever wanted to replace it or something. All you gotta do is push, push up right against here, just kind of push it back, pull it and pull it down a ways, and then this will come off. So then when you have it off, this is it. This is the unit. There's nine uh, rechargeable lithium batteries in there. And it tells you stuff on the back there, obviously warning labels and such. But this is the pump. Goes, inserts right there, right in the holder. It's a little bit hard to see with the lighting. Um, and that's the pump. That's the air pump right at the bottom there. So that's all it is. And it's not too loud either, which is obviously another really nice thing. And the one that's lit is closed, obviously, too. It smells a little less and it's quieter. GoPro. Obviously, too, you have these cup holders on here. I've already used those. And one more time, I'm going to do the lid here. So this lid is very strong. It's not going to come off. You literally have to pull this, and it's still locked here. And then you have to pull it out for it to come up. Up and out. Now, baits move around in there. I don't have a whole lot in there right now. But the very, very cool part about this is the bait basket. I love this thing because I hate carrying a net with me ice fishing and a lot of times the net itself or the water will freeze over at the top and this thing here it has not frozen over because it's sealed and you pull it up and out baits in there you don't need a net you can just grab them with your hands it's really that easy and simple and you don't have to get your hands full of water really or super smelly and then you just shut it that's all you got to do it's super simple um, another really awesome feature about this thing is the chill plate. I'll show you guys this in a second. So it really, it just goes on here and then I screw it on. So then it takes like what, maybe two turns and that thing's in. And the cool part about this is that little clip there, right? You pull on your, you're opening the bucket up and it will raise the bait for you manually. So it, they're already out of the water a little bit. Maybe you want to reach your hand in there or you do have a net, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But it's a little bit easier that way. Preferably I either do this and hold it with one hand and grab them with my hand here, or I just unclip it the entire time, which is what I've done. Um, just because I like to keep my hands out of the middle water sometimes, just uh, keep my hands smelling fresh, not full of minnows. But yeah, there's an air stone at the bottom of this, at the bottom over here. You can see that and I'll just show you kind of how much water it pushes through on continuous a lot of water flow and then if you do it on the intermittent one now it's on there so it's just stop any second and there you go that's the intermittent setting and I'll start right back up in a second I believe the reasoning behind that is so it doesn't hurt the fish so much and it doesn't break off the scales of the fish is it's got two sides of bottle openers here so if you're drink out there drinking with your buddies want to have a cold one by yourself it's got some really strong sturdy bottle openers and obviously it's got this seal here i don't know if it's supposed to be completely waterproof because i have tipped it over on its side before and some water leaks out not a ton not like it's all over my truck or all over the ground but it does kind of seep out the sides if you were to tilt it for example like this box if you keep it level it's not gonna but if you tilt it nope still shouldn't depending on how much water is in there if you really tilt it it'll kind of seep out so be aware but this box is incredible just incredible this i love this part I mean, you can grab the middles see how they're doing and see how their health is doing, I guess, and then drop them right back in. Super easy, simple. I mean, what more can you ask for? It's the flop box 10. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. Um, I hope this helps you decide if you wanna get a flop box 10 yourself, and hopefully this kind of breaks it down for you. This is a size 10. I think they have a size 25 and a size 35, which is just bigger more gallons of water and yeah hopefully ho hopefully this helps you guys i will leave a link down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself and see what it's all about even more and uh 
Yeah, thanks for watching today's video, guys. See you in the next one.